Sticking throttles. Uh, recently had a, a issue with mine, and I followed uh, some advice other motorcyclists gave me, and it unfortunately turned out to be very, um, very wrong advice. And so um, this is a this is a cableless throttle. This is a, what's called a ETC electronic control throttle. Uh, this was introduced uh, on Harley Davidson. Introduced it on their bikes. I think in 08. I'll put an article uh, about it in a writer. I think it's Rider Magazine in the description. And uh, there has been some lawsuits over these with accidents. I would post some links to a couple of those articles because they're in interesting. But they're off of websites uh, of law firms. And whenever I post a link in there, sometimes they think I'm taking the content and I get a copyright violation. It's kind of silly. I'm, I'm driving traffic to them by posting the link there. But anyways, so you have to look for those on your own. Uh, so, so sometimes when the throttle for these starts, starts sticking is like this one right now is nice, smooth, snaps back. And uh, when that starts happening is what, what you'll notice is if you're in the down position, when you let it come back up, you'll just start feeling a little bit of like sticking or even going down, but it'll more, well, at least on mine, it happened more in the return. And make sure you've got play, play in the throttle, like meaning you can move it back and forth. And this connects to a twist grip sensor and the teeth are right here on the inside. So this is what the grip's connected to. It's actually turning. Um, so what I was told is to lubricate the twist grip sensor when um, the mechanism in here, when it starts getting sticky. Uh, that was really the wrong thing to do because this is designed to be a lubeless dry mechanism. And when I researched this more, the motor company has told and told people about, about this. This is meant to be dry, don't lube it. It's in the doc all the documentation. People are still doing it. So when this is starting to stick, either something is now defective or in my case, it just plain has had a lot of use. This bike is a lot of stop and go city miles. It, it's really been used very heavily. And what that means is it's time to replace it when sometime, usually when it's starting sticky, unless you got debris in here, you can blow out with the air can and do not take this apart unless you really know what you're doing or got access to service documentation. Uh, because these twist grip sensors, uh, if you're having a potential defect with it, it needs to be replaced. Take this apart. You've got a brake sensor in here. You don't want to mess that up. There's some uh, care about putting a, a spacer in here about holding the lever over when you take it apart. So, so you need to know about things like that. So don't, don't just indiscriminately take this apart without knowing or doing some research on it. So what the lubrication, back to the lubrication, what that allows you to do is get a little bit more use out of the twist grip sensor. You don't want to do that because what happens is when you've done that is, and it's what happened to me, is I was in a ride with a group and coming out of the corner, I'm rolling on the throttle and I'm expecting a certain response out of the bike and I'm not getting it. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe I'm just not get, getting enough wide gear down to lower gear and continue on and so you start having some inconsistencies like that happen and then as I got close to somebody's uh, back of their bike I was rolling on and then the bike uh, sped up more than I expected uh, turned out okay uh, but when I had this uh, so this was a talk I had gotten from a dealer that had serviced mine and taking taken care of it uh, when this starts to stick uh, it, unless there's debris, which there shouldn't be because this is all sealed up. Uh, if you've had a lot of miles on it, it's time for replacement. Don't lube it to get more use out of it. Uh, it's wearing out. It needs to be replaced. And that turned out to be a, a fortunate uh, lesson learned um, from it, lube, lube, lubing inside here. This, this is stuff that, that people used to do. But sometimes what you used to do, they're not good practices for today because this is wireless, this is digital, and while this is Harley-Davidson, this probably applies to most other bikes also out there because the last times I've test rode Triumphs, Ducatis, they're all electronic controlled throttle now. So I'm pretty sure this applies to their stuff also. So anyways, lesson learned, wanted to share.